Welcome to Kids Cove News. We have some friends celebrating birthdays this week. Happy birthday to Rob. And happy birthday to Zoe. Miss Teresa, I have a funny joke. Are you ready? I'm ready. What did one piece of toast say to the other? One piece of toast. How do I know? I don't know. What? You are my buttered half. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny, it's actually that's funny. Oh, that is, that's funny. <laughs> Do not forget to join us for kids worship and wiggle worship tonight and Awana on Wednesday night. Also, be sure to join us for Parents Night Out and Preteen Bible Study this Friday night. Our new Christian class has started this semester, but it's not too late to join us on Sunday morning during Sunday school if you have questions about becoming a Christian. That's a wrap for Kids Code News. See you next week. Hello to all of you super amazing kids at iCampus Kids. You might have noticed I'm wearing my superhero cape today, which means we are going to sing a song about our superhero, absolutely incredibly amazing God. Can I hear you say, my God is number one? Yeah, come on, let's sing this together. A superhero and no, I'm strong cause God loves me. I can march on forward every day and not be afraid cause God's with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days a week. I can count on God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days a week. I can count on my friends. Welcome back to iCampus Kids. Do you have a brother or sister? I have a brother and I have to admit to you that when I was your age it wasn't always easy to get along with my brother. He is younger than me and sometimes he would take my toys without asking. Does that ever happen to you? It can be so annoying, right? My parents would make him apologize and return my toy. As much as I didn't always want to, I would forgive him. My parents taught us to love each other. Forgiving someone that did something wrong to you is a way that we show them love 
And also, we are showing God's love. Today's Bible story is about two brothers, and one brother needed to show some forgiveness. Let's grab our Bible so that we can learn more. Do you remember who wrote the Bible? Yes, that's right. God wrote the Bible. Kiss your brain. God told men the words to write down in this very special book. Because these are God's words, we know that everything is real and true. God gave us this special book so that we can learn more about him and his son Jesus and how much he loves us. The Bible has two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Our story today is found in the Old Testament in the book of Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible. Jacob and Esau were the twin sons of Isaac and Rebekah. Esau was born first, so when his father died, he would get more than his brother Jacob. Jacob wasn't happy about that, and he wanted to get more. The Bible says that one day Jacob was cooking stew, and Esau came home from hunting and was very hungry. Esau asked his brother for some stew. Jacob said, first, give me what you will get as the older brother when our father dies. Esau was hungry, so he agreed. The brothers got older and one day their father Isaac asked Esau to go hunting and bring back some meat. Isaac was going to bless Esau. Rebekah heard Isaac's plan, but she wanted Jacob to get his rightful blessing. Rebekah helped Jacob to trick their father Isaac. Isaac was old and could not see very well, and he thought Jacob was Esau. Isaac gave Jacob the special blessing. When Esau learned what Jacob had done, he was very angry and he wanted to hurt Jacob. Rebekah sent Jacob away to keep him safe. Years later, Jacob wanted to return home to see Esau. He asked for God to keep him safe. Jacob packed up his family and began the trip home. When Esau saw Jacob, what do you think he did? Remember, Jacob had taken something that wasn't his. The Bible says that Esau ran to Jacob and hugged him. Let's take a look at the picture. Esau wasn't angry anymore, and he forgave his brother Jacob. Jacob thanked God for loving him and for taking care of him. God wants families to love and help each other. He doesn't want us to not get along. When we show forgiveness and love to the people in our family, we are also showing God's love. Our Bible verse today says, Love one another as I have loved you. John 15, 12. God loves us so much, and we don't always make the right choices, just like Jacob in our story today. But no matter what choice we make, God forgives us, and he loves us. Love one another as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Let's pray, and thank God that he loves us so much. Father God, we love you so much, and we thank you for this day today. And Lord, I thank you for my friends that are here learning more about you. And Father, I just pray that you would take the words we learned today and hide it in their hearts. Draw them close to you. Help them to know how much you love them, and help them to know your son Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the love that you always give us, and thank you for forgiving us when we make wrong choices. We pray all of these things in Jesus' beautiful name. Amen. Today in our story, Jacob made a stew before he tricked his brother Esau. Do you know what stew is? It's a soup that usually has lots of vegetables in it. Do you like vegetable soup? Well, let's play a game. I have a big soup pot here and I need to fill it with veggies. I'm gonna give you some clues and you guess what vegetable I'm going to put in the stew. Okay. The first vegetable that I'm gonna put in the stew is green and skinny 
and it grows long and sometimes you have to snap it in half. Do you know what it is? Ah, oh, that's kind of hard. It's green and it's long and sometimes you have to snap it in half. Do you know what that vegetable is? Let me look in my grocery bag here. That vegetable is a, if I can find it, ready? Did you say green bean? What's a green bean? Good job. Okay, the second vegetable for our stew is yellow and it grows on a cob. Wow, that was fast. Yes, you're right. The next vegetable to go in our stew is corn. Very good. Okay, here's the clue for veggie number three. It's brown on the outside and white on the inside and grows in the ground. Hmm, do you know what that is? Oh. Those are really great guesses. Remember, it's brown on the outside, white on the inside, and it grows in the ground. Okay, maybe I need to give you another clue. I bet you'll get it this time. With this vegetable, we make French fries. Yes, you got it. Let me get it out of my grocery bag. We're gonna put some potatoes in our vegetable stew. Very good. All right, vegetable number four also grows in the ground, but this one is orange and it has a green top. Do you know what it is? Orange with a green top. <laughs> Great job, you're right. It's a carrot. Very good. All right. Our last vegetable for our stew today is green and it grows in big bunches and sometimes we call them little trees. What vegetable is that? Yay, you are right. It is broccoli. Do you like broccoli? I love broccoli. Okay, this stew looks delicious. Let's give it a stir and eat. You did great guessing the vegetables for our stew today. Maybe you can help your family make a yummy stew together this week. Remember to love each other and forgive even when it's hard. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Um, hey, y'all. Hey, can somebody tell me what's cooler than being cool? Oh, you remembered, it's ice cold. Somebody say, ice cold. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, today we learned about forgiveness when Esau forgave Jacob. Hmm, we all need to forgive people. That's what God wants us to do. All right, friends, right now, I need for everybody to get up on your feet. All right, come on, because it's time to drive the bus. If you're ready to drive the bus, somebody say, I'm ready. All right, all right, friends. Hey, y'all loves to drive the bus, and I know you've been back in school, and school is cool, so we're gonna drive the bus, but here's what I need you to do. When I say drive the bus, you be my echo and say, drive the bus. Okay, let's practice. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. All right, that's great. All right, friends, let's get ready to go. All right, somebody say, drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. All right, friends, we need to get our keys out to start the bus. Come on, start the bus. Let's go, everybody. Start the bus. All right, now, friends, we need to get some passengers on, okay? So open the door and say, come on in. Come on now, open the door and say, come on in. Say it again. Open the door and say, come on in. One more time. Open the door and say, come on in. All right, everybody, drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Drive the bus. Oh, friends, up ahead, I see something in the road. So you know what we got to do? We got to swerve. Come on, swerve, 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 swerve. Somebody say, drive the bus. Come on. Drive the bus, let me hear you. Drive the bus, drive the bus. Okay, friends, one more thing today that we get to do when we drive the bus, we go in a certain direction. We go east, west, east, 
West, turn around. Ooh, 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 ooh. East, west. Ooh, 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 ooh. East, west, one more time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Drive the bus. All right, you guys did great. Great job, everybody. All right, go ahead and have a seat because now it's time to play a game. And I love games. Now, if you're ready to play stand up or sit down, say, hey, y'all. All right, all right, let's play. Now, I want you to stand up if you have a pet at your house, okay? If you got a pet, stand up, okay? Yeah, what kind of pets you got? Scream it out. Oh, those are good, okay, good, good, all right. Now, I need you to, everybody sit back down. Stand up if you have a dog. Okay, that's really good, okay. Sit down if you have a cat, okay? Does your cat scratch you? Okay, okay, all right, all right. All right, oh, I got another one. Stand up if you have a gerbil. Okay, all right. Sit down if you have a guinea pig. Okay, all right, here's one. Stand up if you have gone to the zoo. All right, good job. All right, now, last ones, sit down if you have been to the rodeo. All right, sit down if you've been to the rodeo. Yeehaw! All right, and here's the last one. Stand up if you have ridden a horse. Okay, stand up if you've ridden a horse. Yeehaw! All right, okay, you guys did a great job, and I'm Hey Ya, and it is so good to see you guys and be back with you in iCampus Kids. I'll see you guys next week for iCampus Kids. But before we go, can somebody tell me what's cooler than being cool? That's right, it's ice cold. I'm Hey Ya, peace, I'm out of here. Hi, iCampus Kids. It is so good to see you again today. We hope you have so much fun listening to our Bible story with Miss Amanda, hanging out with Hey Ya, Hey Ya. Yeah. Because it's game day. Okay. Hi, iCampus Kids. It is so good to see you again today. We hope you have so much fun listening to our Bible story with Miss Amanda, hanging out with Coach Bob Cat, and singing with our great friend, Jancy. You know, today we learned about Jacob and Esau. God made these brothers very different and each of them were very special. Jacob made a bad choice and he tricked his father into giving him a blessing that was meant for Esau. That's right, Michelle. Esau was very hairy and Jacob was not. Jacob tricked his father who could not see well by putting animal fur on his arm so that when his father touched him, he would think it was Esau. Esau was so mad when he found out that Jacob had taken his blessing from their father. I think I would be mad too, but Esau chose to forgive his brother, Jacob. I am so glad that Esau chose to forgive. He was also happy to forgive his brother. That reminds me of how God always happy to forgive us when we make wrong choices. Me too, Miss Teresa. Today, we are going to make self portraits. You know, we have so many different tools to use to make our portraits special. God made each of us unique because He loves us so much and we are special to God. That's right, Michelle. I am going to start with my hair. I think I will use markers. Okay, that sounds good. If you have some yarn at home, you could use yarn or string. We have some yarn. It's not necessarily our hair color, so we'll use markers. <laughs> what color do you want, Miss Teresa? Brown. The brown? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will use okay. the brown. All right, and I'm gonna start, while you do the hair, I'm gonna go ahead and draw my face and shoulders for okay. a self-portrait. I'm gonna draw a novel, and then from there, I'm gonna draw my hair. Okay. Good. I'm 
gonna borrow the brown when you're finished. Since we both have brown hair. That's right. We have different <laughs> shades of brown hair, don't we? Okay. I have my, I have, I draw an oval and I already have the hair. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Long hair, longer than mine. A little longer. Do the texture. Mine looks curly and it's really not, my hair is not curly. I'm gonna use a different color to kind of fix it a little bit. You can use paint or yarn or crayons and markers or all of those things. To make yourself portrait. Okay, mine is done. Let's see. That looks good. I'm just filling mine in a little more. Okay. <laughs> Can I start drawing my face? Maybe my eyes? Oh, that's great. Okay. What a great idea! I think I'm going to use some of these jewels to make my favorite shirt. What well, do you think? That sounds good. <laughs> You'll try your eyes and I'll do some jewels. We okay. like sparkle. Sparkle's fun. And some blue. You might have some stickers or jewels to decorate your self-portrait. That's a great idea, Shelly. I'm going to... I like to wear earrings, so I, I think oh, I'm going to use yes. those jewels for, for earrings. For your earrings. Yes. It's a great idea. Can I have some of your jewels? I can yes. use buttons also. You can use whatever you have at home. Get some matching ones. Yes. Oh, I, I found some pink hearts. These will work yes. for my earrings. Those will be, oh, that's really cute. That's really cute. I'm gonna use glue. I'm gonna put some um, buttons for my shirt. And I find some purple ones that I like. Oh, purple's fun. It's good. Yes. Can I see yours? You can use so many different things. You can use so many different things for your portrait. This photo will be great for eyes too. The ones that I use for my shirt, you can you can put it on for your eyes. That's a great idea. You know, boys and girls, I'm so grateful that God made me and that he sent his son to the world to forgive me of my sins. See you next time on iCampus Kids. You know, today we learned a little bit about what forgiveness looks like. And if we want to forgive, that means we're going to love others. Jesus told us to love one another. Come on, friends, let's sing this together.
one another, friends. <laughs>